just hear that? Sometimes it just sounds like someone's watching me. Do you think there's a camera in here? Hello? Honestly, what happened to real entertainment here? Eh? You lot watch nothing but reality TV. It's great. Top model survival on Bikini Island. <laughs> These girls have really got what it takes. Certainly have. I really like this show. Seeing what makes the girls tick. <laughs> the psychological interplay between the different characters. And that bit where they all get in the outdoor jacuzzi. <laughs> 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 Quick, switch over. Celebrity toilet son. Celebrity what? Three celebrities get locked in a lavatory for one week and the last one to go wins. The last one to go where? <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> it's brilliant. Shh, it's starting. Yeah. Reality TV, really. I mean, who'd want to watch people sitting around bored at the turning moon? What are they doing right now? <laughs> <gasps> now that you mention it, they do look a bit bored. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Not a glimmer. I'd better check the viewing figures. A quick squeeze at the old ratings operator. <laughs> Oh, I say, that's high. <laughs> oh, that's the gas meter. <laughs> <gasps> Lava duck. We're down to our last ten viewers. <laughs> Don't you go away, you ten. <laughs> Nine. Uh, I'll think of something. Mr. Stephen. What? <laughs> Viewers are dropping like flash. Do something entertaining. What am I saying? This is supposed to be entertaining. <laughs> exactly. Now, according to the flimsy plot this week, if you want to get the ratings up, we should do our own reality TV show. A talking fox in a wobbly set with a bunch of drama school dropouts. <laughs> if you can convince anyone that's reality master Dave, you're a better talking fox than I. <laughs> yeah, so the way I see it, Archie, we should put cameras here, and here. Yeah, keep talking, kid. <laughs> Come through to the kitchen. And this would be like the kitchen. Yeah. Where the flatmates would cook and stuff. Camera's here and camera's there. And Who's the coyote? <laughs> oh, this is Basil, one of the flatmates. Basil Brush? Archie Bison, Chief Exec, Label Cable, our local satellite TV station. How to do? Hey, what's happening? Not a lot. Archie's interested in doing a reality TV show. Reality show? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, just run this show idea by me again. OK, four good-looking flatmates. <laughs> <laughs> OK, three good-looking flatmates in a funky flat Lock them in for a month. We'll be stuck here for a month. Stick cameras on them, viewers watch. Watching our every move. Vote to a victim, one of them wins big prize money. Everybody happy. As exciting as watching the milk curdle. Exactly. So why should I put up the 50,000 bucks prize money? You're a man after my own heart, Archie. Now, assuming a viewer profile of 20% A's and B's, and a... Uh, 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 plus a bunch of C's and a pair of W's. With a base rate of 3.6 and an APR of 13.2, and then there's the phone calls at a quid a minute. Meaning? Meaning, Mr Archer, that you can retire to a luxury villa in Porto Bolnoops without moving off your amply proportioned BTM. Hey, I like your style. Give me a high five. Oh, you chucks. <laughs> Would you settle for a low paw? <laughs> so, this is the diary room. Oi! <laughs> Come 
Camera's here. Camera's there. Camera's everywhere. And we can put the chickens in there. <laughs> well, don't talk to me about chickens. My young cousin Crispin thought he was a chicken once. He used to run around clucking and pecking the ground. Well, didn't you take him to a doctor? Who knew? We needed the eggs. Boom, <laughs> 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 boom! And uh, this is the bathroom. Uh, uh, conveniently situated next to the uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> diary room. Is some minutes peace and quiet too much to ask? Oh, uh, the sink's a bit blocked, Master Dave. Uh, I think Mr. Stevens washed his hair. Help if you put it back on his head when he's finished. <laughs> oh, very fine. <laughs> you could do with a jacuzzi. Ah, uh, we usually just leave a tin of beans by the bath. <laughs> leave it me, Archie. I've got a number for a cheap plumber. Done. Now that, as the tea was in the man. Is it still the dog program? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Couldn't switch over. The remote's on the floor, <laughs> innit? <laughs> They say they know a cheap plumber, though. No such thing. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Jeff. <laughs> so, where's the drip? Oh, yeah, drip. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> he gets my jokes. I like him. I like him. <laughs> Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Great flat. <laughs> Thanks. We call it home. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, jacuzzi, Jeff? Yep. No worries. Leave uh... it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Simple, Alan. You leave the telly on in the cuff at 24 7. We get more viewers and we promote you. Big. Bother. Sponsored by Anil's Calf. Who's that singing? Have you got Kylie washing up in there? Oh, that'll be the new work experience girl, India. She burst into a song at the drop of an act. Sounds as if she's dropped a big one. Around the street, kicking a beat, feeling the heat. Cars going beep, beep. beep. Everybody go boom boom! You know there ain't no stopping us. Boom boom! Temperature is rising up. Cruising, baby, till the lights go down. But when the night comes, we do Everybody go boom boom! Party people do it right. Boom boom! Work it till the morning light. Move your body out across the floor. Shake your hips until they scream. Everybody go boom boom! She's not bad, you know. I know. Great voice. And what a cook. Oh, good is she. Oh, what's this? Fish cake? Sardines and chocolate? No. She's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you got some chickens. Well, not some chickens exactly. More like two rabbits. <laughs> they were going cheap. I thought that was budget. <laughs> Rabbits! Oh, isn't they lovely? <laughs> Listen, I'm just nipping out. You've got your nuts jammed up round your waste pipe. <laughs> Sounds painful. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, you are. <laughs> anyway, back in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say, Jeff. <laughs> Cheers, Jeff. I say, what a nice bloke, eh? Good sense of humour. Yeah, he's lovely. For a plumber. <laughs> oh, listen, chaps. We haven't got all day to banter about friendly tradesmen. We have got a new show to do. Whoa, it's on. It's the Boom Boom Dog. <laughs> Big Bother is sponsored by Anil's Calf. <laughs> oh, my God! I'm a celebrity! Yeah! yeah.
Yes! Yes! Thank you. Right, it was salami, banana and gherkin on focaccia, wasn't it? No. Oh. I asked for egg. Oh, whatever. At least this lot's never been up a chicken's bum. <laughs> Soon, the world will be mine! All mine! Mine! Oh! Yeah, yeah, sorry. Day one. The flatmates arrive at the Big Bother flat. Oh, dear. <laughs> Well, we better get used to it here. This is going to be home for the next month. Eh? It's already been home for the past two years. You know what I mean. I'm Stephen, by the way. Eh? Oh, I get it. Mm. I'm Bethel. Mm. Mm. Molly. Dave. Great. OK. Eh... <laughs> uh, I suppose we know each other pretty well already. Unfortunately. I don't know. Although it is the same, it feels different. Like being watched. Now that would be different. Oi! <laughs> well, I hope I'm first out. How do we get voted out anyway? Search me. Well, <laughs> I think the way it's meant to work is the first two are voted out by the flatmates and then the viewers vote for a winner. This is Big Brother. Would Molly please come to the diary room? Hi, Molly. Hi, Big Brother. Molly, how are you enjoying the Big Brother flat? Well, I have to say, I'm having the worst time of my life. The food's terrible, and I'm the only girl, so all the boys pick on me. And I'm bored. Bored, bored, bored. But you've only been in here two minutes. I'm climbing up the wall. Oh, goodness, Molly, you really are bored. I could have sworn we only had two rabbits. We did. There's these two here and those two there. How did that happen? <laughs> it's time to choose the first flatmate for eviction. Would Mr. Stephen come to the diary room? Promise you'll vote for me. All of you. I've got to get out of here. Well, I don't know who's going to clean and wash up. But she wants to go. Molly. <laughs> to avoid serious injury. Molly. Basil? Yeah, well, the poor thing is desperate to leave, so, uh, Molly. Oops. Whoa! <laughs> I like the young man with the wide face. And the first person to be evicted is... It's a result. Molly. Hey! <laughs> Good for you, Miss Molly. How could you? Eh? You voted me out. But we thought it we was... We thought it was what you wanted. I did. It's just not very nice being the first out and have you gang up on me, even though I asked you to. Miss Molly, you have ten seconds to leave the Big Brother flat. Don't worry. I see myself out. Girls, eh? <laughs> Morning. Day seven. Anyone fancy a cuppa before I turn the water off? And these little tinkers keep breeding, and I think the U-Ben's clogged up with rabbit doos. <laughs> or rabbit doos. <laughs> May I remind you that today is the day for nominations. Oh, I hate this bit. Uh, who shall I vote for? Well, not me, I hope. I'm going to have a quick splash before the water goes off. Uh. Listen, Baz, hmm? I could make it worth your while if you vote for Stephen. What? Bribery and corruption? I'm horrified and surprised at you, Master Dave. How much were you thinking of, exactly? 
And the next person to be evicted from the Big Bother flat is... Uh... Dave, for cheating. <laughs> oh, no. He's my best. You cad. <laughs> Do I still get my jelly babies? <laughs> Can't be the same with that dirty Dave. He spiced it up a bit. What else is on? Top model survival on Bikini Island! No, you don't. I want to watch karaoke kittens. Karaoke <laughs> kittens? Day 10. <laughs> and boredom is setting in. Mm. Nice boy with my little O. Something beginning with. Oh. <laughs> Rabbit. <laughs> Again. Rip. Again. <laughs> it's a bit lonely in here now, don't you think? Oh, hello, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Well, your jacuzzi's almost in. But I think I've identified your problem. You've got a bunny in your boiler. <laughs> Bunny, boiler, bunny. Did you get that? No. But he's a nice bloke. For a plumber. <laughs> Minutes turned into hours. Hours into days. Days into weeks. And soon the fickle viewer lost interest in the plight of poor Basil and Mr. Stephen. Mr. Bison, how nice to see you again. Uh -huh. Would you uh, just like to sign for this? Five hundred and sixty pounds for French fries and soda? Archie, so what do we have the uh, pleasure? <sighs> to this, a junk food bill that would pay off the national debt of Chile and a bill from the Hotel de la Pache for two thousand bucks. So we had to stay somewhere when we got chucked out the flat. And... Kids have got to eat, sir. Not when I'm about to go down the Swanee because the advertising money and the phone calls aren't happening. Why? Because no one is watching Big Bother. Big what? Big Bother, the reality show. Oh, that! We don't watch that anymore. We watch cartoons now. More entertaining. <laughs> oh, no! We've forgotten about Basil and Stephen. Who? <laughs> I can't even hear the voiceover man. No, I'm here. I left the flat weeks ago. There was nothing happening to voiceover. Well, we'd better get them out of there. Why? <laughs> well, decided to get up then. Hmm? Couldn't sleep any longer. Hmm. I find if I sleep near the edge of the bed, I usually drop off. <laughs> 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 Don't mind me. I'm just going to have to chase this length of pipe up the wall. <laughs> I hope you catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Baz. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what if I put my radio on? No, oh, go ahead. The music would be nice. I was a musical prodigy, you know. I composed an opera at three, a symphony at four, and at 5.30 I went downstairs and had a cup of tea. <laughs> boom, boom! One, two... Three, four, five, everybody in the car, so come on, let's ride to the liquor store around the corner. The boys say they want some gin and juice, but I really don't wanna. Beer buzz like I had last week. I'm Yay, this is more like it. I like Angela, Pamela, Sandra. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> you know they're getting sweeter. So what can I do? I really bag you, my lord. Proper old-fashioned entertainment. Like sport, anything fly, it's all good, let me Definitely singing the trumpet. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of Erica by my side. A little bit of Rita's all I need. A little bit of you makes me your man. Good old Jeff. <laughs>
Yeah, he's great, isn't he? Uh, <clears throat> oh, your beck. Will Basil please come to the diary room? <sighs> About time to. <laughs> hey, no hard feelings, eh, Mr. Stephen? <laughs> no. May the best fox win. Absolutely. Oi! Uh, well, not much choice, really. Mr. Stephen. Well, this is really difficult. Not. Basil! To evict Basil, please call 08081 570 980. To evict Mr. Stephen, call 08081 570981. Calls will cost two quid a second, and don't ask the person who pays the bills, or they won't let you call. Well, he gets my vote. He has a great personality. A star. Only one possible result. Lines are now closing. Let's see what the atmosphere's like in the flat. Mr Stephen, I just feel I should say that... Whoever loses this... I know, Basil. We've come a long way. We're both winners. Exactly. Well, even though one of us will lose, they'd become a loser and lose the £50,000 prize money. But we'll still be a winner. <laughs> this is Big Bother. The votes have now been counted. In a surprise result, Two contestants have received the same amount of votes for eviction. <laughs> Will Basil and Stephen both leave the Big Bother flat? What? By a massive majority, our clear Big Bother winner is... Jeff the Plumber! <laughs> £50,000. Fantastic! <laughs> nice one! <laughs> yeah, nice one. Couldn't have happened to a nicer bloke. Anyway, your jacuzzi's all fixed up. Just a little matter of my bill. <laughs> £211,497 and seven pence? <laughs> anyway, I'm off to Barbados. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It's cheap. Wow. Two milkshakes. My very own recipe. I call it Taste of the Caribbean. Oh. Oh. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Taste of the Caribbean. <laughs> cool. What's in it? Sand, seawater, fish paste, some dubious floating things. It's on the house. If anyone was stupid enough to drink it, it'll be on the flipping floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For a plumber. At least we got a jacuzzi out of it. And if we jacuzzi ten times a day for the next seven years, it'll be quite good value. <laughs> you have to admit, though, we made a good job of it. <laughs> what the dickens? We'll see more of Basil tomorrow at the same time. Now, though, it's time to see some amazing creatures that can dance in the ocean, <gasps> perform on ice, <gasps> even do ballet. <gasps> and I should know, I taught them myself. <gasps> it's not really true. Extreme Animals are next.
do. You beat a ninja. 